okay, I got a couple things, a couple problems, a couple mess ups. They're mess ups. Um, I think I put the wrong one on the wrong side and, um, it doesn't lean forward far enough. So when the, um, so what I have to do is I have to notch this piece out. I notched this side, uh, to make it symmetrical. And then I, I flipped them. I inverted the wrong foot is on the wrong side. So, um, oops, but, uh, I want to make them symmetrical. So, so that they do indeed, um, pull properly. Uh, the other thing I did was I got the center foot mounted so it goes up and down on this linear actuator. So it's it's mounted to the top and uh, the foot goes up and down with this. Let's see if I can plug it in and turn it on. I don't know where my... This, these are the wrong voltages, but it'll still, it'll still work, I think. Well, let's go like this. crushing it. Anyway, it goes up and down. Um, it, it, it doesn't have anything to stop it from going side to side. So it only goes up and down, but the only thing, oh, sorry, uh, front to back, it doesn't have anything to, to, to stop it from going front to back, but it's got eight inches of travel. Then the second actuator I, or fourth actuator I added was this guy here. And um, this won't work, but what I want is a, a lever that comes off of this. And then that will um, swing the shoulders. These are keyed, so this is a keyed piece of aluminum, and then there's a there's a, uh, a pulley wheel that goes over top of that to lock it all in place. Uh, pretty cool, the other thing I got with that is these little, um, I can't remember the, the model number, but this is a H-bridge driver, so this is motor one, motor two, enable, enable, enable. So it actually, direction, direction, direction. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, the, whoops. Uh, that'll be on the list of things to do. As there's lots.